Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to read um, from the 24 uh, hour day book of Alcoholics Anonymous. I'm trying to get that right. <laughs> and um, also from the Daily Word. So this is for Wednesday, February the 8th, 2012. Alcoholics Anonymous thought for the day. When the morning sun comes up on a nice bright day and we jump out of bed, we're thankful to God that we feel well and happy instead of sick and disgusted. Serenity and happiness have become much more important to us than the excitement of drinking, which lifts us up for a short while but lets us way down in the end. Of course, all of us alcoholics had a lot of fun with drinking. We might as well admit it. We can look back on a lot of good times before we became alcoholics, but the time comes for all of us alcoholics when drinking ceases to be fun and becomes trouble. The question is, have I learned that drinking can never again be anything but trouble for me? Meditation for the day. I must rely on God. I must trust him to the limit. I must depend on the divine power in all human relationships. I will wait and trust and hope until God shows me the way. I will wait for guidance on each important decision. I will meet the test of waiting until a thing seems right before I do it. Every work for God must meet this test of time. The guidance will come if I wait for it. And the prayer for the day I pray that I may meet the test of waiting for God's guidance. I pray that I will not go off on my own. 24 hour day book. And for Wednesday, February the 8th, from the Daily Word, the bumper is Inner Peace. The title is I Discover Peace Within, and this is for Wednesday, February the 8th, 2012. Peace is the stillness at the center of a storm. Just as violent storms on the surface of a lake or ocean don't disturb the calm environment deep below, I too maintain peace deep within me, whether times are tranquil or chaotic. As I focus my attention on the steady rhythm of my breathing, I calm the rough seas of my anxious thoughts, filling my mind and heart with the words, peace be still. I soothe any anxiety, fixing my gaze on a thing of beauty or the light of a candle or simply closing my eyes. I become immersed in inner peace. I gratefully connect with the deep peace within me and offer this gift of peace to the world. And from scripture, John chapter 16, verse 33. I have said this to you so that in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution, but take courage. I have conquered the world. Ah, so... I look forward to having peace. I work on peace in my life, a still, calm center. That's what I search for, and that's what I work for, and I'm still looking for it. But I ain't giving up. Never give up, never surrender. Be well.